think most of us equate health with hydration since everybody needs water to survive. But it turns out the real issue is not just drinking water, it's how much of that water actually reaches our cells so that they can function at their best. Mm -hmm. And that leads to one of the most enduring myths of modern times. In 2008, researchers at Indiana University made a list of common beliefs that doctors told their patients despite the absence of scientific support. And number one on that list was the statement that we should all be drinking eight glasses of water a day. Hmm. Dr. Howard Murad, an expert on cellular hydration, has a very different view about this. The myth of all time is eight glasses of water a day. Everybody's told you eight glasses of water a day, eight glasses of water a day. There was a study done in 1945 where we measured theoretically how much water people needed on an average day, and it was about 2.4 liters of water. 2.4 liters is about eight glasses of water a day. But even in that study, it wasn't just water, it was also what they ate. When you eat your water, things are so much healthier. And I believe eight glasses of water a day may actually make you dehydrated instead of hydrated. Why is that? We all know if we go and drink eight glasses of water a day, we are going to make at least eight trips to the bathroom. And along with that water that we've lost, we probably lost some of our electrolytes that could be critical for us. Eating your water means eating water-rich foods. For example, eating raw fruits and vegetables. Every fruit or vegetable is high in water, at least 80%. Now, it is water, but it's better water for many reasons. They're full of various nutrients, antioxidants, anti-inflammatories, vitamins. They make our body more alkaline. When our body is alkaline, it's resistant to cancer and bone loss. My patients ask me sometimes, how much water should I drink? Well, obviously, my first answer is, eat your water because it's healthier than drinking your water. But there's so many variables as to how much water you should drink. A, what have you been eating during the day? Have you had a lot of processed foods, a lot of salt? For every one gram of salt, you need 23 grams of water to eliminate it. So, depending what else you've eaten during the day is how much water you should have. Are you doing a lot of activity, physical activity? That uses some, some hydration. So, all of those factors are very important before we can actually tell you how much you do need. But truly, the answer is eat your water. It's much healthier than drinking your water. The paintings and the sayings in that segment are an interesting story in their own right. Over the years, Dr. Murez composed hundreds of sayings to help his patients choose a healthier lifestyle, and he's created scores of abstract paintings to help him relieve his stress. Sounds like there's a book in there. Hey, are you psychic? <laughs> in fact, a coffee table book has been published with about 60 of Dr. Murad's favorite insights and an equal number of his favorite paintings. I love that. It's true that when you connect a beautiful image with some specific words, it can have a great impact on us.